Hi, I'm Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds. If you've been watching the site lately, it's been about three weeks since we updated a video. During that time, Maggie and I have been on the road making a couple presentations in Massachusetts, a couple TV shows, and some, um, and some radio and print. That'll be on the site over the next couple of, um, couple of weeks to um, inform you of what we've been up to. But something happened last night that I really wanted to share with you right now. I got an email last night from Ian Goddard. And Ian is um, a longtime watcher of this site and uh, has done some really great analysis in the past as well. He took a look at an old TEPCO video. And Tokyo Electric had gone into the Unit 3 fuel pool just once. You remember that Unit 3 is the, um, is the reactor that's blown to smithereens. Um, the video showed a lot of damage. But Ian Goddard was able to find one spot that there's clearly something that appears to be discernible. It looks like the handle of a BWR fuel bundle. Now, Ian compares that bundle to other bundles which were looked at over in Unit 4, and it's pretty clear to me and a couple other nuclear engineers I've shown it to that this might be a single nuclear fuel bundle in the Unit 3 fuel pool. Now, it raises more questions than it answers. First off, there should be a lot of bundles there. Yet, obviously, there's only one in this picture. Where are the other bundles? The other part of the question is, this should be under about 30, 25 feet of water. And it's not. It's very near to the surface. So what's happened to that particular bundle that it's, um, or to the water level in the pool that have caused it to come in such close contact with, um, uh, with atmosphere. Well, like I said, it raises more questions than it, uh, than it answers, but I really do want to thank Ian Goddard for discovering this and passing it on. Um, if you have any comments or questions or, or thoughts about what you think it might be, um, please send in through the comments section on the website. Thanks. We'll get back to you soon.